What's up, y'all? Welcome to another... Starting off well. Welcome to another... Free China Post update. Um, <clears throat> I just had some good times. Met some buds. My AC's been broken for three days now. And uh, it might not sound that hot, but... It's been been kind of warm here in old Gow Town, even though, you know, it is the winter, but it's been 24 or so every night, that is Celsius for all you Americans, um, so, sorry about that, uh, but, I'll check what it is in Fahrenheit, I think it's like 80, no, 75, okay, 75, but to be fair, I can't open any windows, so it is a 75 with no, absolutely no airflow, so I got that working, and then I was gonna go live, and uh, had a couple of my buds come out, <coughs> start yelling at me <laughs> through the window, um, so... I hung out with them for a little bit, so that was good. Um, but that is pretty much where our good news ends for the day, unfortunately. Um, but we do have some interesting news. So um, what I'm going to be talking about today is uh, something I'm actually currently uh, working on an article for. And um, I think it's a really important topic um, from a number of different angles, um, whether that's... Uh, gender equality, uh, the Me Too movement, uh, if you're interested in Chinese politics, it's also interesting. Um, so yeah, from a number of different angles, I think it's going to be pretty um, interesting and also a really important story for a lot of people. Like I said, I'm currently working on an article for it, so hopefully that'll be a little bit longer. Um, it won't take you as long to read, probably, but hopefully it'll be more succinct um, and have more... I like to put a lot of links and stuff, so hopefully it'll be like a, you know... Something you can branch out of and learn a lot more about the uh, the whole situation uh, about Me Too in general, uh, especially as it pertains to China. Hopefully, you guys can't hear my neighbor who is always coughing in the background. <coughs> so, anyway, um, we'll get this going. I thought I would start with um, because I'm doing this stream in English. I found a pretty decent translation. I didn't want to spend the time to translate the whole thing myself. But I found a pretty decent translation here on uh, Reddit. There's some discrepancies that I've found. And I'll try to point those out as I remember them uh, as we go through this. But um, I'm going to try to read through this real fast. Because I am going to put this also up on the podcast feed. But as I was, I will always remember uh, to tell you guys that are on the podcast feed. <clears throat> please do watch these on the YouTube or Rumble if you're into that thing, but over on the YouTube um, or the Twitch, honestly. The Twitch is the best way to do it, but um, if you can watch it on the on, on the online, on the video platforms, I think it'll be a better experience for everyone. And obviously, if you do watch it on the Twitch, it's going to be an even better um, experience for everyone because it's going to allow us to all watch it together and then we can interact and stuff like that which i think will also be a useful experience for all of us um it also it kind of lets me uh talk to everyone and i i find that useful uh i like the feedback and everything so yeah in, in any case if you if you can only listen to it on the podcast then i understand that as well all right so this is what she posted on weibo so we are talking about pong Sui. Um, Peng Sui is an, uh, a Chinese tennis player, okay, huh. interestingly enough, they have literally, oh, maybe this is on the, oh, yeah, this is on the, t the tennis subreddit, okay, so that makes sense, I was gonna say, because they have, right now, the WTA finals, which are in Guadalajara right now, but we're supposed to be in Shenzhen, which is in China, um, for any of you that didn't know and um so anyway so that that will play into the story a little bit later but we'll start from here so um this is translation and the translator puts a few notes in here um via translation issues and or cultural things we'll get to those when we get to them okay so 
Ponsoi starts off by saying, I know I can I know I cannot explain this clearly, and even if I say it, I won't it won't matter, but I still want to let it out. I'm a hypocrite, I admit I am not a good woman, and in fact a very, very bad woman. About three years ago, Zhang Gao Li, vice president, uh, you retired. Okay, so he's not a vice president. So this this is one of those uh, translation errors, I would assume. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I can't remember if she wrote that. But if she wrote that, it's also wrong. There's no president in China. So and just a note to everyone, don't ever call Xi Jinping a president. Um because he's not he he's a chairman and um Zhang Gaoli was the vice premier he was also a member of probably the most powerful um political entity in China which is this the standing committee the CCP standing committee um the Politburo so basically that is a group of now seven people it was nine uh previously and they basically are the 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 head decision makers um arguably in some ways over she but it's not what this story is about anyway no he's he's one of he was now he's not he has he's retired for three years now um oh yeah i guess it does say that so <clears throat> yeah it's um Something to keep in mind. Anyway, but th- that's a, a little issue uh, that should be mentioned. Okay, uh, She continues, You asked Dr. Liu at the Tianjin Tennis Center to contact me, and you asked me to play tennis with you and Kang Ming, um, which is... Uh, Kang Ming, I believe... Let me double-check this really quick uh, to see if this is right, because I don't want to give you guys the wrong information here, but, um, let's check, we'll check together, okay, um, because it, it would be reversed, because his wife, oh no, his wife is Kang Jie, excuse me, okay, so I, Kang Ming, I assume, is another tennis player, um, uh, Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, well, I'm an idiot because I didn't. I should have just kept writing at the Kangming Hotel in Beijing. Sorry, folks, you're gonna have to bear with me. It's been a while since I read this, and it's been a long day. After we finished playing tennis, you and your wife Kang Jie, like I just looked up, uh, brought me to your home. Then you took me into your room. Then what happened? Uh, like what happened ten years ago in Tianjin? Uh, you wanted to have sex with me. That afternoon, I was very afraid. I did not expect this to happen. Someone helped guard outside. Um, she says, not very clear what she's trying to say here, but from reports I've heard afterwards um, is that, yeah, there was someone outside guarding the door, and they had, like, taken all of her um, electronic devices away. Um, and it, uh, yeah, it does seem that, like, as she's going to say here, that the wife knew about it, and, but maybe wasn't super happy about it for understandable reasons. Um, she says, because no one would believe that your wife would allow this. About seven years ago, we had sex. Then later on, you got promoted to be the minister of, member of the Pollitt Standing Committee in Beijing, and you never contacted me again. I used to bury everything inside me. After all, you, I didn't want. if you didn't want to take any responsibility, why did you come back for me? And you brought me into your home to have sex? Question mark. Um, it is true that I don't have evidence. It is also not possible to leave evidence. Later on, you kept denying, but it is true that you were attracted to me at first. Otherwise, I couldn't have been able to come into contact with you. That's probably very true. Um, as one of the most powerful people in China, he was definitely calling the shots in that in that situation. Sorry for the background noise. My neighbors are doing something um, very loud. Um, anyway, that afternoon I didn't agree, and I kept crying. So she's saying here basically that she was raped. Um, she was saying she didn't agree agree to to uh, the sexual uh, interaction that they had. I had dinner with you and Auntie Kang Jie together. You said the universe... Oh, by the way, I should mention at this point, I think she, the first time they had sex, I think she was like 24, and he was like 63 or something. Those are not exactly right, but there was about like a, a, a 40, give or take a few years, uh, eight, uh, year age gap. So... Anyway, uh, the earth is merely a speck of sand in the universe, and us human beings are smaller than even a speck of sand. You said a lot more than that, and per- and the purpose was basically to persuade me to drop my guard. After dinner, I was 
still not willing to have sex. You said you hated me. You said in those seven years you never forgot about me and you will treat me well, etc. I was terrified and anxious. Talking to me, taking into consideration the affection I had for you seven years ago, I agreed. Yes, we had sex. Romantic attraction is such a complicated thing that 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 explain it clearly. From that day on, I renewed my love for you. Throughout my time with with you after that, purely based on our interactions, you were a very good person. You treated me well. We were talking about recent history as well as ancient eras. You educated me on many topics, and we had discussions about economics, politics. We never ran out of things to talk about. We played chess, sang, played table tennis, played pool, and also played tennis together. We always had endless fun. It was as if our personalities fit perfectly together. I left my home early. Uh, the translator here notes that uh, professional athletes in China frequently leave their families at an early age uh, to train full time, which is definitely true. And they train like crazy. Um, you basically succeed or are destroyed. Um, <coughs> uh, yeah. So, I mean, there are videos online of like four year olds playing tennis hours upon hours a day to be like the next, you know, gold medalist. And to be fair, they have really, really good. Uh, table tennis players, but is, is it worth sacrificing a child's joy and happiness of a childhood for that? I, I would tend to say d uh, assuredly not, but in any case, some people would disagree with me. On the inside, I'm extremely deprived of love. In the middle of this, excuse me, in the middle of all of this, I never thought I was a good woman. I hated myself. I hated why I came into this. I came to this world. You told me that you loved me very, very much, and you said that you hoped in the next life we could meet. Uh, meet each other around the age of 20 or 18. You said you were lonely. You pity yourself for being alone. You had We had endless things to talk about. We never ran out of topics. You said in your position, it is impossible to divorce. If we met in Shenzhong, Shen, uh, Shandong, <coughs> they said this is a uh, province in China of less significance than Beijing. Uh, anyway, you, uh, you would have been able to divorce, but not now. I thought I would just accompany you quietly, not making any noise. So this is true. There's This is my side note real quick. Um, it, it, it probably would have been very hard for him to get a divorce in the position that he was in. Um, but it's also very common for, um, I would say, <clears throat> Chinese men in general, um, but especially those in, in power, to not only have mistresses, but to... Uh, and this is more for... This second part is, I said Chinese men in general, it's moderately common to have a mistress. Maybe it is in other places, too. I don't know the exact statistics on that. But... Um, Definitely, there are, are numerous cases, um, and this is just what gets out, which is hard to get out of China with the the Great Firewall and the, the immense control and everything, um, of CCP leaders basically coercing women to s sex, and that's not like just the high up like Politburo, Standing Committee people. It's it's people that just are like local party, you know, goons basically that just kind of use their power and influence to to just. Uh, drink and make connections and then, you know, force women into sex. There's, um, uh, there's some people, yeah, out of there. I know there's a video, um, from a guy named Lao Wai, um, which means foreigner. And it's what they say in, in China for foreigner. Um, but it's spelled W H Y instead of W A I, like it would be in Pinin. But anyway, um, he talked about how his, his wife who is Chinese was, a, a, a local party uh, goon basically tried to rape her, um, tried to force himself on her, and eventually she got out of it, and then he offered his, her a job as his local secretary, and her parents were elated. But, um, I mean, you can take that. I mean, I don't have any proof of that story, but you can take it as you will, and he seems like a moderately uh, believable guy. So, But there, there's a number of these stories all over. So, um, And we're seeing with the... Uh, Me Too movement I was, as it's burgeoning that I'll talk about a little bit after I finish uh, reading this real quick. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, it just seems rampant. I mean, surprise, surprise, it seems where, wherever you give uh, people a lot of power, they try to take a, advantage of it sexually. Um, so, anyway. Um, so she says, at the beginning everything was fine, but as time goes on you started to change gradually. There was much, uh, so much unfairness and humiliation. Every time you asked me to go home... Behind your back, your wife would say so many ugly thing and hurtful things to me. All kinds of jeers and mockery. Uh, I said I like to eat duck tongue. Andy Kangjie would say, ew, so disgusting. In the winter, the Beijing, uh, when Beijing had poor air quality due to smog, Andy Kangjie would say, it is because you live in the countryside. You don't feel the air. You don't feel that at all here. Uh, things like that, 
she made so much she made so much of them uh when you were with me she never said those things it's similar to when is similar to when we were together when we were together alone you acted one way but when we were with other people nearby you acted in another way i've told you before hearing those things made me feel very hurt and humiliated deep down since the first day when i knew you uh, i have never used a cent of your money neither have i ever used you to obtain any benefits for myself but this is but this thing called reputation it uh, is so important everything that has happened i deserve it i have brought everything down upon everything upon myself from the beginning to the end you have told me that our relationship uh, to keep our relationship a secret and everything and most importantly of all i have never to, i was to never tell your mom that we were having sexual relationships because it was her who drives me to the church of the savior um, this is a church in beijing every time and then i would have to change to your car because i would be able to get into the gated apartment complex she thought i was always just at your place to play mahjong or poker we were always just transparent individuals in each other's lives your wife was like a queen in the legend of dun juan so he says this is a very popular show about the power show in ancient chinese royal family uh, while words couldn't describe how embarrassed i felt there were so many times where i thought am i still human i thought i was a soulless creature faking faking every day which was the real me uh, I should not have. I shouldn't have come into this world. But I don't know how. I don't have the courage to die. I really want to just live simply. But things have turned out differently than what I wanted. On the thirtieth, we argued very badly. You said on the afternoon of the second you would go home to slowly talk it out. Today at noon, you called to say you are busy. Denied everything. Made excuses to say we would talk another day. And just like this, you disappeared again. Just like seven years ago. You play with me and you dump me when you're done with me. You said there are no transactions between us. Yes, that is true. Our affection towards each other had nothing to do with money or power. But I've had a hard time finding closure for and coming to terms with a three year, with our three-year-long relationship. You always, you were always scared and I, I would secretly bring a re recording device and leave evidence. That's right. Other than me, I do not have any evidence to prove what happened. No audio recordings, no videotapings. The only thing I have is a memory of for my own messed up self for someone as prominent as yourself i know you're you said you are not afraid but it doesn't matter i'm hitting a rock with an egg or being a moth that flies toward the flames i'm telling the truth of what happened between us and your intelligence and wits i'm sure you will deny it or blame it on me or you could simply play it cool you always say you you hope your mother in heaven could bless you i'm a bad woman who doesn't deserve to be a mother but you are a father with a boy and a girl i have asked you this before would you at, would you have done the same even to your adopted daughter do you still think do you still have the courage to face your mother after what you have done in your lifetime we sure all like to pretend we are virtuous whew, 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 whew. all right since i read this guy i'll give him enough vote if you guys want to follow him on reddit if you guys are redditors how do i upvote on the computer i actually don't even know how to do this i feel bad now um Anyway, I'll go I'll vote him later. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm a, I'm a Reddit noob. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is the guy we're talking about right here, Zhang Gaoli. But more importantly, we are talking about this woman here, Peng Sui. So, as you can see at the top of this, we we don't really know where she is, um, unfortunately, and that's the big story now. But before we get to that, even, the biggest story is the fact that Peng Sui called out one of the most powerful men in China. Now, granted, he has, he has uh, basically retired, so that's something, you know. I mean, it's not like he's, he's still, like, it's not like she, she did it to Xi Jinping, because she probably got killed before she did it. Um, that's just my uh, personal thought but uh kind of kind of what i think but it's uh it's hard to imagine that uh it, it it's just hard to imagine someone like this getting called i mean it's it's almost like um i don't know i don't even know it would be like like nancy pelosi or like chuck schumer uh getting called out for some sort of uh, sexual assault allegation it's just it's just crazy um, and the other thing is that 
in America, we can kind of imagine that. Like, we just had a president that was, like, credibly accused of rape, and we technically have one now that's been somewhat credibly accused of sexual assault. Obviously, there was never any investigation into it. So, in that way, you could say that powerful men all over the world, even in countries where we we can actually talk about it, um, it gets covered up, um, partially because of uh, all the discussion and the lack of action that happens. However, I just don't think it's possible to state how how absolutely uh, just sh- sh- world shaking that this this allegation is that she's come out with him. Um, now, obviously, uh, as with most uh, allegations in China, directly after she made this allegation, uh, it can uh, her her post was deleted off Weibo. Um, which I, I guess I'll mention for anyone that doesn't know is like a, a kind of like Chinese Twitter, f- t- for lack of a better word. Um, so yeah, it was immediately the post is deleted. Last I heard, her account is still up, um, but I'm not a hundred percent sure if that's true. Uh, we can check really quick, actually. But um, Weibo doesn't like to let me on. And the other issue is that um, when you do get on Weibo, just like I said, they will also... Oh, this is... Yeah. Taiwan.weibo. Let's do just Weibo.com. Oh, I guess we'll do Taiwan Weibo. They're going to know I'm in Taiwan, though. They're going to be trying to check out my IP address. Um... So let's look. I like how even in Taiwan, it's in simplified characters right away. They have like a thing that has simplified characters. Oh, uh, there's like no search. I think because I'm not. Um, oh, maybe it's not. No, it's not in simplified. Actually, that's surprising. You can switch to it though. That's what it was. I thought it was already in simplified. I guess I'll throw this up here for you guys to see. Um. But anyway, it's just kind of wild um but yeah i don't think we're gonna find anything actually for a while they literally banned the a search for tennis which (laughs) is crazy like think about if twitter just was like sorry you can't search for for tennis anymore i think i'm pretty sure you have to i mean i'll try one thing i'll try i'll try doing wibble.com slash pong sai uh, but I don't think it's going to work. I think they're going to take me to like a 404 or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Bao Chen. Yep. Uh, yeah. So anyway, it's, I don't think it's going to, oh, there, there's the search. I'm a dummy. Let's see. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, now they're going to lock me out. They're mad now. They know I'm looking for like banned stuff. All right, get out of that, get out of that. <laughs> let's see if... <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's see if we can find this. I don't have my... I don't have my... Um... I got to get off this website soon. Oh, they're like... They're really not going to let me. All right, let's exit out of that. Let's try that again. (laughs) Um, Let's see. Yeah, it's going to, it's going to be all slow now. I don't, that makes me nervous, but I'm sure I'm just overthinking this. This I'm sure it's just because my internet's slow. Yeah, I don't think it's going to let me find it. Um, all right, I'll come back to that in a second after they've totally got my IP address and send someone to put, like, sarin gas under my door. Uh, okay, there we go. Right, let's try this. What if we do Pong Sai? It's probably going to ask me to sign in because I know it's done that before. I've been trying to do, like, uh, some, like, data for, uh, like, a little bit of sleuthing for articles before most of them about like me too stuff uh that's usually the only reason i come on Weibo, and um 
oftentimes it will not allow me to um, to search very much without actually signing in. Um, oh, this is I I need to download again. I lost my. I think I just have a Bopamofo. Oh, it did, it did work. Nice. Okay, let's try that. Search. Let's see if we can find tennis. I'm also searching in... Oh? New client expansion. Coach... Oh, they do have... They have... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Pong Yu. No, this is not... Yeah, I don't see... There's no Pong Sui. There's this Coach Pong Sui is here to guide the elite teachers. We have a long-term plan this morning. Now 2020 is September 10th. Yeah. I don't know if this is the same Pong Sui because they don't have it in Mandarin. Expansion. Yeah, the issue is that they don't have... I would assume it is the same one, but they don't have her Mandarin name here. This just says something high she went. I can't root... I can't read this character because it's in simplified. But anyway. Um, so that didn't work. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. See, look. Log on if you want to see more results. If you want to see the real. If you want the straight dope. First hits free. Um, no Pong Shui here. But these are... Yeah, they did... They unblocked tennis. But tennis was blocked for a little bit. All right. Well, there you go, folks. Couldn't find it, unfortunately. Um, so, like I was saying, um, I guess a little bit of, of background on the Me Too movement. Um, oh, I have some, like, random stuff in here. But, <clears throat> the Me Too movement in China, I can show you, there's a, I'll show you one of the best articles out there on the internet on the Me Too movement in China. Um, oh, I have... I still have the Mandarin on, that's why. <laughs> that makes sense. You can hear the trash truck just rolling along. Another night when I didn't take out the trash is when I should have. So, um, <clears throat> we we have the old uh, Me Too in China, beautiful uh, film photography by Ari. So, this I wrote this after the Dumezos, uh, case, which is a recent case that we just had, um, but basically, we had the global Me Too movement after Harvey Weinstein, right? Okay, um, I mean, there's art. There was something already happening. The Me Too movement, uh, the Me Too phrase was c coined before this, but like I said, I mean, it's this has been a movement that's been going on since time immemorial. Like Rosa Parks, if you guys don't know about Rosa Parks' work to help survivors. Uh, of mostly mostly young black girls, like literally like girls, like 13 years old, um, being abused by older white men. You should read about that. That's a very important thing to know about, especially if you w want to know about uh, black history. Um, so the China's movement, the, the Chinese Me Too movement, started about the same time. They started with different hashtags. So they used Me Too, and then some of that stuff got banned. So then they also had Si, which is Si, which w literally means I, I too am, which is how you say me too in in Mandarin. Um, but a lot of them started getting like all these basically started getting um, silenced. Okay, um, there's actually something that would also be interesting to check is this one, this me. Okay, so I guess we can go check this too. Spending a lot of time on Weibo now. This is more time than I've ever spent on Weibo. I'll load that up. I'm, I'm going to keep talking about this. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, they kind of came up with a lot of different stuff. I encourage people to, like, read through this. Like I said, there's a lot of links all over this. Okay. So, yeah, China famous for banning stuff. Like we said, uh, banning the word tennis. They banned the letter N for a while uh, because of uh, your references to Xi Jinping and Winnie the Pooh. Um also LGBT groups uh, from WeChat, which is something that recently happened. Um, even though the, it, to be fair, Hong Kong is not the same as China, but China does greatly control Hong Kong now with the the uh, um, 
the new laws that they put in, the national security law. Um, so they're having the gay games there uh, in 2022. And they're also doing the Beijing Winter Olympics there. So that's really great for our LGBTQ friends um, that they're going to have this nonsense over there. And actually, Taiwan is not sending uh, a delegation to, to the gay games in Hong Kong for fear of safety over the... Um, national security law in Hong Kong. And I don't know what their plan is for the Winter Olympics. That will be something to see. Not that Taiwan has much of a winter, so I don't know. But they also did Rice Bunny, because this, I, I didn't say, this This is uh, Me Too, which is, it sounds like Me Too, right? But the word is rice and, and rabbit, or rice and bunny. So sometimes they'll also hashtag Rice Bunny. Um, so let's let's Google this. And by Google, I mean search on Weibo, which doesn't allow Google, and or China doesn't allow Google. Okay, um, but like I said, there's this goes even back farther, um, and I think this is like I'm giving just a rough outline. But like I said, I think it's really important for people to read up on this stuff because people don't realize. Like, I think some people think it's like a really progressive place because they've tricked themselves, or they're like tankies or something, and other people have kind of. Um, think that it, either it's so su so oppressive that just nothing happens there's no people fighting back or just kind of assume that it's just like i don't know i don't know what most people think because i didn't really think about it very much maybe that's the thing that most people do is just they don't think about it but it's important to think about and to support these people um namely in this case these women that are fighting for uh equality and freedom from sexual abuse so it's gonna take a while to load um so the uh, important group to know, and, and you can look this stuff up, is the Feminist Five. So this is a group of women uh, that basically went out, and they did very, very mild stuff. Like on International Women's Day, um, they went to san hand out stickers on the subway. And uh, basically, they just went out to say, like, hey, please don't uh, assault us anymore. Can we just be treated well? Um and obviously, as anyone that listens to us knows, this is the famous crime right here. Picking quarrels and provoking troubles. And this can c get you up to a decade in prison. Uh, it, is a, it is a law in the books in China. It's just causing any trouble that the, the ruling party doesn't like. And then you just go to jail. Um, so after this, there's actually like um, more and more. So we have a lot of... So I won't go through all these, but... You have a, a Buddhist association. Um, you have uh, Zhou Xiaoxuan Xun, excuse me, uh, had an accusation against a hugely famous TV host, professor, um, a billionaire. There's a ton of these cases, um, high-profile cases. Most of them get ignored now uh, and were th basically thrown out. Um, another one I wrote an article, two articles actually, about uh, Hong Suixin, um, who's another she did a well this is about her doing a survey um she she's a journalist herself and she conducted a study of 416 female journalists she said 84 percent uh had reported that they had had sexual harassment or assault in the workplace that's insane i think the normal number for girls in america which is already bafflingly high is like a third which again a lot of those probably go unreported so probably higher than that but <clears throat> 84 is staggeringly high and there was another study uh, of 7,000 respondents which is a pretty big sample size um it said 70 percent of college students uh and graduates had reported that they had been sexually uh, harassed in china um and again another one said 80 percent. so it's it's a very very big problem in china um so she was actually later arrested um it was it was probably due to her Hong Kong reporting, but I'm sure it didn't hurt that she was also talking about Me Too, a topic that they don't like. They don't like when you talk about anything bad, obviously. And I'm talking about, when I say they, I mean the, the ruling party in China, the CCP. Um, the Chinese Capitalist Party, as I think I'm going to start calling them. Um, so she was eventually taken to a black site, but yeah, finally she has been let free. Um, she's, I don't know how free she actually is, but she had tweeted that she was out. So that's good to see. Um, so that's kind of where this goes now. And uh, again, that was a super quick rundown. And I guess I'll talk about this one real quick and then we'll move, we'll move back to our story. Um, is this Dumezo? 
um, she accused Chris Wu. And this is an interesting side point here because Du Meizhou, excuse me, Du Meizhou, uh, Du Meizhou accuses Chris Wu. So Chris Wu is a Chinese Canadian or Canadian Chinese. It's, I don't know which way you want to put it. And it sometimes gets put different ways. He was part of the band EXO, which is like a Chinese, but actually is like a Korean K-pop band, a Korean pop band, um, but was also really famous in China. And he was kind of famous because he he was, quote unquote, Chinese. So she claimed that he basically got her drunk and then assaulted her and... um, a number of other women came out. 30 30 other women also came out. The interesting one for this one, because he was quite famous, and like I said, a lot of people have been um, high ups. Uh, Like I just went over a bunch of them here, and you guys can check them out. Um, All these cases here, and there's a number of other ones. I didn't list them all here, obviously. Um, They get kind of swept under the rug. The charges get dropped. There was just... Well, one recently of a TV executive that was credibly accused and the case was just thrown out. Um, so he actually was was pushed out, and part of that um, was because... And you see a lot of things like this. Like, you saw it with... You saw it with um, what uh, Pong Sui said as well in her, in her um, Weibo post. Is just this... Um, I like this. Uh, I'm a hypocrite. Um, I'm useless. I want to die. These sorts of things that you you see from people who are obviously uh, depressed and and who have been castigated by society because they're like like Du says I'm spoiled underwear. Like it's just because like you've because you've been sexually assaulted, you you're anathema basically you're not worth anything and you're you're useless i mean and you see this in the united states too uh you're used up this kind of it's interesting because in the u.s some of that comes from this kind of idea of like the purity of of like chastity and stuff um but it also obviously exists uh in china um that you know men should be able to have sex with whoever they want and women should uh, stay quote unquote pure and if they don't if they allow themselves to be raped um, or or sexually assaulted or or even just engage in casual sex uh, with another man then they're they're not worth anything anymore okay so this was a really big case and the interesting thing is is that like i said most of the other ones from powerful men they end up getting thrown out but he wasn't because um, basically they kind of started, one, he got dropped by a bunch of brands because they didn't um, totally erase everything, and because he was kind of looked at as a foreigner. So they, they really like to point out that, oh, he is a foreigner. He's, he's a foreigner. He's a foreigner. So um, that's, you know, there was a lot of, and the other thing is that they're they're doing this. I talked about this on the last podcast that you guys can go check out. Um, he is a here's the oh no this isn't the right one. This is a recent article I wrote. Um, he is part of the Korean pop scene, and they're trying to do this uh, de-wussification. So they're trying to get rid of these pretty boys, um, uh, quote unquote. And so, yeah, you can, I mean, there, yeah, you can see, like, the picture of him. He's obviously, obviously, like, wears makeup and stuff, and um, he's not the ideal of, like, the strong, manly, hardworking man. Then again, neither is Xi Jinping. He looks like a, a bloated Winnie the Pooh doll. But anyway, um, oh, hmm, interesting, interesting. Remember we Googled Me Too? Shall me? Well, okay, young me too. That's but that's not that's not it. Um let's see. It's really hard for me to read this, I'm sorry. Let's do a control find. Let's see if it's still in here. Me too. Me too. Oh yeah, so okay, so this one looks like it is. What is it? Does it say disgusting? 
it's I'm, I apologize. It's really hard for me to read this simplified. Um. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can just translate this page. Let's just be lazy as I as I always try to be and just translate this page. Doesn't look like I can though. Um anyway. It's it's a little bit hard, but it does look like they have Zamami to me. So it does look like they actually are allowing me to. I'm sure, you know, obviously, if it's if they're talking about certain stuff, they don't. So it does look like this is somewhat allowed. But like I said, it's it's hard for me to totally tell. Me too. Yeah, K-pop, they're definitely allowing it for this. Because they don't like these pretty boys. So, um, interesting. I'm surprised they're even allowing people to post pictures of K-pop anymore. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, back to the story. There's the eventually, uh, Chris Wu was arrested, so we'll see what happens from there, but that's that's where it's gone so far. Um, and so now we basically get to the point that after Pong Sui was made her, uh, basically her accusations here. Um, they, like I said, they, they censored all of her stuff and now she's disappeared. I mean, this was the first article that came out now, uh, New York Post, kind of a rag, let's be honest. But now we're getting into other people, um, com coming out. So you have this article from The Guardian, um, as always, by the way, if you're uh, a uh, audio listener, I will put all the links to all, everything um, that I've looked at here. Basically, besides, I'm not going to go back and look through the Weibo. You can do that guys yourself, but I'll I'll put everything else out on the um, on the uh, in the description below. So just go check out the podcast description; it'll be on there, or you can visit the site. As always, that's not a big deal. So um, she made these accusations. She's disappeared. Now, I would like to be clear. This is something that the New York Post did not make clear, but like I said, they're kind of a rag, so it would, you wouldn't expect like great journalism from them. It is possible that she's in hiding of her own accord because she's ashamed um, or she's nervous about la uh, people lashing out. It's obvious that she, she wasn't in the best like uh, mind state when she tweeted that. She's feeling really bad um, and understandably so like she's basically been used by a rich and powerful man who's played with her emotion and it sounds like um and i would like to hear the exact words from her mouth obviously it sounds like he raped her um because she was crying and saying she didn't want to uh, have sex with the man and he basically forced her into it that gets into a whole another thing but the, uh, these uh these, she at least made, let's say, sexual assault allegations. Um, now, um, he, the WT, WTA, so this is the World Tennis Association, has come out afterwards and basically asked where she is. W uh, China has a couple of people have basically said that they uh, they didn't hear anything about it because it doesn't concern their job. And um, others have said, basically, that uh, she's safe. And <clears throat> they've called, basically, for more transparent investigation into the allegations and also into her, her whereabouts. Um, so this one is just about uh, the WTA calling on China to investigate. And then um, she... This is also about that. There was one article in here somewhere yes i think it's this one yeah so in dw here um a number of like uh djokovic uh djokovic i believe is how his name is said who's a famous tennis player i don't know much about tennis so i apologize but to give you guys a little bit of insight if you watch tennis you probably know who pong sai is because she was number 14 i think in the women's singles and she got she was first in the world for a while in doubles and she also won the French Open, I believe. Um, so she was very good. Someone said she had... I was reading a little bit up on her. 
because I wanted to know some some things about her tennis career. I wanted to know how good she was, and because I, not that, obviously not that it matters, like it shouldn't, but it it does matter in terms of the how the world views it. Obviously, because more people will know about it if she's more famous. She's very famous and very very good at tennis. Um, I saw people saying she has the best uh, two handed backhand or forehand I forget which one in in like in the game basically so <clears throat> I also said she's like a really powerful player so anyway um it's yeah it's wild um she's but just to let everyone know that she's very good so Djokovic called out um you can see uh Chris Everett I believe is also one uh I believe she's also oh yeah and, and then Billie Jean King is also another uh really famous I know Billie Jean King's name, but that's all about, I, about all I know about them. Um, and I say um as in them, because I forget if Billie... I know Billie Jean... See, now I'm showing how little I know about tennis. I think Billie Jean King was one of the first female tennis players to come out as a uh, lesbian. But I don't know what her gender identity is. But anyway, uh, Billie Jean King also expressed uh, concern about where, where Pong is. Um... So, th like I said, the WTA was investigating. Uh, they said it's very concerning. Basically, took her, she had remarkable courage. They say here that we expect this issue to be handled properly, meaning that all allegations must be fully investigated, fairly transparent, fairly investigated fully, fairly transparently, and without censorship. Our absolute and unwavering priority is the health and safety of our players. We are speaking out so justice can be done. Now, this is a nice statement. I would like to say. Okay, the issue is that the WTA has already taken a billion dollars from China for all this stuff that they're doing. And now I, I told you about and this. Is, that's not just like a, like a billion dollar bribe. Let me make that clear. It's a billion dollars just like the the um, like the Olympics takes takes a billion dollars or more. You know, it's TV rights. It's building stadiums. It's prize money. OK, Um and the Olympics is also incredibly corrupt, uh, <laughs> so you can go read uh, articles on our on our site about that. Um, they're they're insanely corrupt. Um, so there was uh, a basically a uh, response to this, and apparently the head of the CTA, the Chinese Tennis Association, assured him that Pong is safe and not under any physical threat. What does that mean? Hard to say. Is it true? Even harder to say. Um, and why is she not allowed to speak out? They say this about a lot of people that get detained. And that that detention can just be in your house. You're not allowed to use your phone or, or you know, you're not allowed to get on the internet, whatever it is. Or it could be you're, like, being tortured in a black site. Um, I doubt they're torturing her in a black site. Um, I don't think that would be politically expedient for them, but I, I, it, it wouldn't surprise me if she was detained right now. But like I said earlier, it, it is possible that she's kind of in hiding of her own accord, but they're definitely keeping an eye on her after an allegation like that and the trouble that it's going to bring them uh, over that. Now, the interesting thing is you, you probably can't throw that guy under the bus now as the CCP, being he was at the top for so long. Because that causes a lot of instability. If they do, I think that that probably means that there is something else that they're trying to cover up. Um, that means that there might be an internal power struggle or something going on. This is all just speculation on my part. Um, just kind of thinking out loud. But for them to to drop Zhang, uh, I think, yeah, there would have to be something going on. Now... Xi Jinping is is going up. I mean, he got rid of term limits, but he's he's going up for his next run as chairman. So there could be some internal power struggles going on. I mean, I'm sure there are, but I don't know that they're out of control to the degree where they need to something to cover it up. I I tend to doubt it, but it's you know you never know. Um, he's kind of uh, coalesced a lot of power around him that it's it's hard to say. Um, but yeah, we're it's. It's going to be interesting, and it's really on these, and this is this, the, the terrible part, because these sports 
agencies don't care. Usually, usually I should say, like we look what happened, with, what happened with the NBA, um, and the whole, uh, you know, uh, Hong Kong thing with the 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 coach. Uh, I forget his name. I always forget his name. Maury or something. I, don't quote me on that. I'll look it up. I'll put it in the description. Um, but he was basically, um, he was, you know, he basically kind of got thrown under the bus himself. And then the, the, let me look for it real quick. Uh, you know, the, they, they sent, uh, sorry, I'm trying to do this at the same time. <laughs> whatever whatever uh hong kong let's just do this first let's do one thing at a time otherwise i'm gonna lose my mind i don't know why i thought i need to put a t in there oh sorry it's hard to talk and type at the same time for me um so uh, was it robert 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 mori or something I like how they don't even... Oh, Daryl Morey. Okay, there you go. And it was the GM. It wasn't their coach. Excuse me. So that, again, I'm not a sports ball guy. Um, but he was basically, you know, told to shut up. Um, now the, there is the the whole thing coming out with uh, Enos Cantor. And I, I've seen people all over the spectrum on that and that's people who I'm, ta- I'm of course talking about people who support Taiwan and Taiwan independence because I mean that's the only people I would really listen to his opinion on the subject um, but I've heard people say it's unequivocally good basically that you know any support for Taiwan is good all the way down to saying that he's not taking it seriously and that we're not like a you know a, a piece of brand new to be put on a shoe and I think I can understand all of those things, and I, I probably just, you know, very in a very cliched manner, probably do land somewhere in the middle. But I do think he's done more. Anyway, that's not this is not that's neither here nor there. But we'll see where that goes as well. Um, but these back to my original point is that these sports agencies need to get much more serious about how they deal with. Uh, cases like this of of uh, sexual assault and human rights violations okay um they have to be and it's it's hard i don't know exactly how you do this it's probably got to come from the fans because there's no way that countries are going to regulate them i mean china will kick you out that's what happened with the rockets basically is that the nba games got shut off in china and the 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 money spigot got sh- shut off and that's why they apologize so quickly now Cantor. His games are also not getting broadcast in China anymore, but it's just one team, basically, and what whatever team he plays, I assume. Um, but that seems like it's more manageable for the two sides. Uh, if there's no more tennis, because also, by the way, <clears throat> that uh, the World Tennis uh, WTA's, the finals that are going on right now in Guadalajara, those are going back to Sun Zun, uh, in 2022, uh, and I, I think they said in 2030 as well. I forget. Okay, maybe it's every five years. Anyway, it's going back pretty soon. Okay, I believe it was. It's next year that they're planning to go back. They left. They didn't go. They didn't do it in uh, the finals this year in China because of COVID. Um, but we'll see. Uh, but I. It's when you're taking billions of dollars, it's pretty hard to take a stand on some of that stuff, at least for corporations, right? Because they have a fiduciary responsibility to make a bunch of money for their shareholders. Um, so it's got to, I guess, come from fans, or you got to hope that whoever's in charge is going to do the right thing. But as we've seen with the NBA and the IOC, it just doesn't really happen very often. I mean, same thing you can say with like. The NFL and CTE trying to cover that up, and the same thing for uh, like WWE, which is, I mean, most people probably maybe wouldn't consider it a sport, but I'd, I'd say it's a uh, sport like entertainment product at least. Um, so, yeah, it's just, I, I don't know, it's a tough situation um, to watch because there's they're probably not going to do the right thing. I, I'm glad they spoke up initially. Um, but it'll be interesting to see if they 
if China refuses to give any uh, further evidence, which they might do, they might come out and say like she might they might force her to do an apology or they might say no nah, she's right yeah this was this was a bad thing he did tisk tisk and then that's the end of it I don't know maybe everyone forgets about it like they do most things because the news cycle moves so fast um I don't know it's going to be the only time will tell for for all of this stuff um but we do have to get serious about making sure that um and obviously the world tennis association so we can't in America um, or Taiwan, where I am right now, like force them single-handedly to do it. But, uh, you know, as people or if you're, personally I'm not, but if you're a fan of a certain sport, you have to try to push um, push that sport in the right direction, push the leadership in the right direction, whatever small uh, hand you might have to play in it. I mean, at least just boycott or, or write letters, um, send I mean, tweeting is not activism, like I said, but, you know, right now in the times of COVID, I, it's sometimes all we've got, uh, sending letters, um, yeah, tweeting at them. Um, hopefully, actually, we can go and, you know, do some protests or something like that. That's, I think, more useful. Um, and also, like I said, boycotting, because, you know, if they don't make any money, then they're, they're not going to do it. Um, so let's hope they do the right thing, and we, you know, not all that is necessary. Um and we'll wait and see what happens with all this stuff. Um, I don't know. It's just a heartbreaking story. And like I said, I'll, I'll try to have a, a, a more detailed and concise uh, article out pretty soon. But I, I, I wanted to get something out uh, to talk about it because I think it's such an important big topic. And it's been kind of on my mind. So I wanted to talk through it with you all. Um, but yeah, I'll stop rambling at you all. Uh, I do appreciate you guys coming by to 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 listen uh wherever you do that whether that's on you know uh the podcast app uh youtube rumble twitch if you guys listen here on twitch um i do appreciate it and we always appreciate you guys reaching out and talking to us uh i would love to hear people's thoughts on this case in particular but uh you know the news and stuff we talk about in general as well um that being said, uh, anything you guys can do to support us also really helps. It gives us uh, more time, uh, and uh, obviously money to to do this stuff and and invest more of our time and 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 thus money into it. Because um, as my students were saying today, teacher time is money, and I said that's kind of true. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, Go check out the website. The website's here. I've been I, I had a couple articles on here. I'll link them in the description. Um, this is a new article I just wrote today, so or I finished writing today and put up. Um, but basically about how the media is totally failing the striking workers, and they're doing so uh, on purpose. Um, and we obviously had all the uh, we had uh, a recent podcast as well, the Geography Boys. We actually had two pretty recent podcasts, but there's lots of stuff out there. If you do go on here, what I need you to do is you need to go to your ad blocker and you need to turn that puppy off, if you would. Um, so you turn that off, and then you can, cl if you see any ads that are interesting, mine are all in like weird Mandarin stuff, but any, it's like all like, it's like this is tutoring, and uh, I don't know why I have omega 3, yeah, omega 3 stuff, even though I haven't bought omega 3 in like years. Anyway and some webinar. <laughs> so uh, if you see any of those that are interest you, click on them, check them out. Uh, I'm not encouraging you to buy or, or whatever the products are, but it, it does help us out uh, if you see anything interesting. Um, if you want to give directly and get cool stuff, um, this is kind of like our store slash, uh, you know, like a little member thing. You can go uh, patreon.com slash free china post that's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash free china post and we got a bunch of levels here you know we got just you get three dollars you can come join our discord um and chat with us and maybe depending on maybe stream some games or something with us or just play games we don't have to stream of course um you know five bucks you get the discord and you'll also get um a, some a personal postcard that we made so we will d we do the film photography uh throughout taiwan all, all the time i shot some film today actually and um 
we'll send you a new photo every time, every month. Uh, we'll write a po- little personalized greeting on it. Um, and actually, uh, you know, we'll, we might interact with you a little bit. We'll definitely interact with you on Discord as well. And then, yeah, it, it keeps it going, you know. Okay. So we got all these all these different levels. Um, they're all pretty cool stuff. We got T-shirts. Um, we got tote bags. We got propaganda posters. Lots of fun stuff. So if you if you want some of that cool stuff and you want to support us doing what we do, we would really appreciate it a lot. Actually, <laughs> it would mean a lot to us. Um, it's uh it's not easy being independent and not taking. I mean, we could I could be on here, you know, every time trying to sell you blue chew boner pills and and all this other stuff. Um. But I don't want to do that, and I also don't want to. I mean, we don't really want to take sponsorships because I know some of them they'll they'll curtail what you what you can what you can and can't say on the podcast, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So we're trying to do it independent style, we're trying to do it DIY, do it punk, make our own stuff, make all our all this stuff is like hand handmade or stuff we personally set up. So it's all made in Taiwan too. So you can. I think the t- some of the t-shirts are made in America, but, you know, whatever. You know, we'll, we'll keep it, we'll try to ethically source everything. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll stop, stop yapping your ears off. We love you guys. Um, I, I just really, yeah, like I said, once again, really do appreciate when you all come out here uh, and support us. Every time I hear someone that's like, oh, well, we, I... I listened the other day, it was, uh, got me excited, got me fired up, or made me happy, or made me think, um, anything like that, is, uh, even constructive criticism occasionally is, <laughs> is fun, <laughs> but uh, like I said, I love y'all, uh, I'll talk to you real soon, I'm actually probably going to do another stream here uh, in a few minutes, just probably a real short one, just play, maybe play a little Rocket League or something, just have, have a little relaxed time before I go take a shower and go to bed, but Uh, I'll talk to you all real soon, and don't you forget, FCPs are dogs.